Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with uh, surveying in the topic of leveling. So the problem is the following consecutive reading were taken with the leveling instrument at the intervals of 20 meter. So the interval is 20 meter. So the readings also given. Okay. So uh, there is uh, 10 readings are given. So the instrument was shifted after the fourth and eighth reading. Okay. So we can change the instrument, uh, change the station point in fourth reading and also eighth reading. The last reading was taken on the benchmark. So that is the RL reduced level is 110.200 meter. Find the RL of the all points. So we have to find out RL of all the points. So the fourth point and the eighth point, the change, uh, change station. Okay. So now we can solve the problem. So now station point. So station point, then chain H, back side, intermediate side, four side. Okay. So then we can use the rise and fall method or rise and fall. So whichever is uh, positive that is rise, then negative value is fall. Okay. So then RL of the points. Okay. So now we can take the point one. Okay, station point 1. So, the chain is, is 0. The back station point is 2.375. Okay. So, now next thing is we can uh, uh, write 1.73 as intermediate side. So, now to chain edge is every uh, 20 meter. So, 20. So, intermediate side 1.730. Then third point chain is, is 40. The intermediate side 0 0.615. Okay. Next fourth point chain is 60. So now uh, the fourth point will be the change point. Okay. So now we can uh, write the uh, reading in four side. Okay. So 3.450. Okay. So next again uh, uh, we shift the instrument and after that we can see the same point okay so that's a procedure in the rise and fall leveling method so now we can write 2.835 okay so next thing is uh, fifth point at 80 meter so now we can write it as uh, intermediate side so that is 2.070 okay so next sixth point at uh, 100 meter so the value will be 1.835 okay so here is 1.835 so this is sixth point okay so and again seventh point so 120 meter so now the 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so seventh uh, reading is the change point okay so now we can write it as four side okay so now 0.985 Okay, so after the shifting the instrument, so again we will see the 120 that the same point, seventh point. So we can uh, write the value as back side. Okay, so now we can write 0.435. Okay, so this is a change point. Okay, so next thing is eighth point. So at 140 meter, so we can write it as intermediate side. Okay, so intermediate side 1.630. Okay, so next ninth point at 160 meter, so we can write it as 2.255. Okay, so next tenth point 180 meter, so last point we can write it as 3.630 as the four side. Okay, okay, likewise uh, we can uh, write the values. Okay, so now we can find out the rise or fall. Okay, so uh, now the Back, back side is uh, 2.375. So, uh, intermediate side is 1.730. Okay. So, now uh, we can find out rise or fall. So, uh, so 2.375 minus 1.730. So, we got the value of uh, positive that is 0 0.645. Okay. So, next thing is 1.730 minus 0 0.615 we got the value of 
okay next thing is 0.615 minus 3.450 so we got the value of negative so that is 2.835 so we can write it as for okay so if case the positive value we write uh, in rise and then if case uh, the value is negative so we can write it as in fall column okay so next thing is uh, 2.835 minus 2.070 so we got the value of positive 0.765 okay next thing is 2.070 minus 1.835 again we will write it as 0.235 in the rise column okay so next thing is 1.835 minus 0.985 so we got the value of 0.850 okay so next thing is 0.450 minus 1.630 so we uh, the minus value so we can write it as for okay 1.195 okay so next thing is 1.160 minus 2.225 so again we got the minus value 0.625 we can write it as fault column okay next thing is uh, 2.23 uh, 2.255 minus 3.60 so we got the value of 1.375 we can find out the rl of all the activities okay so now we can add all those things so that is summation of back side so the summation of back side is 5.645 so then uh, summation of four side so summation of four side is 8.065 okay so the total value okay so that is 5.645 then here 8.060 then summation of rise is 3.610 then summation of fall is 6.030 okay so now we can find out the rl uh, so rl value so now uh, summation of back side minus summation of four side so that is uh, summation of back side minus summation of four side equal to that is 5.645 minus 8.065 we got the value of minus 2.420 okay so likewise we can uh, we can uh, do summation of rise minus summation of fall okay summation of rise is uh, 3.610 minus here 6.030 we got the same value 2.420 okay so now uh, the we can check this is the correct value okay so now we know the 10th point is the uh, benchmark that is rl of 110.20 okay so 110.200 okay so now we can add 110.200 plus 1.375 we got the value of triple 1.575 okay so next thing is uh, 1 triple 1.575 plus 0.625 okay so we got the value of 112.200 okay so now 112.200 plus 1.195 we got the value of 113.395 okay so so next thing is 113.395 minus 0.850 so we got the value of 112.545 okay so next thing is 1.12.545 minus 0.235 we got the value of 112.310 okay so next thing is again here my we can put minus 112.310 minus 0.765 we got the value of triple 1.545 okay so next thing is triple 1.545 plus 2.835 so if case the fall we can add the uh, value in rl so if case it's a neg it's a positive ri rise so we can minus the in rl okay so now triple one point five four five plus 2.835 we got the value of 114.380 okay so again we can uh, minus the value so 11 4.380 minus 1.115 so we got the value of 113.265 okay so next thing is we can again minus so we got the value of 
2.620 okay so these are all the rl of the particular activities okay so now we can check uh, the rl of first activity minus rl of last activity so now rl of first activity is 112.620 minus RL of last activity is 110.200 okay so now we got the value of 2.420 okay so here is 2.420 here also 2.420 so this is the method we can solve the rise and fall problem again we will see next video thank you